Check this out, guys. Yeah, I changed the interface uh, to make it nicer. Again, this is an Angular application, and the application running in the background is uh, Node.js. Um, it's it's actually accepting all the requests from the Angular app, which is this one. Yeah, um, the other um, proof of concept that I showed the other day, I, I really didn't like the way it looks, so I think this one's better. And if I, I use um, foundation for, for the styling, foundation is really awesome. Um, it's easy to configure. All you have to do is to edit the settings file and you make another gulp build and everything's just gonna fly. It's phenomenal. So you guys have to try it. So this one I use Angular Foundation Framework. Uh, everything's really cool. So this is how it looks in, in my daughter's phone. So everything's the same. Currently, uh, Sprinkler on Zone 1 is running, so that's why it's turned on. And, and after 20 minutes, I don't know how long it's been running, it should switch to Sprinkler 2. So yeah, later we were, we're, going to, we're going out there. We will override the settings of the Sprinkler, and we will uh, do some tests. And then, so yeah, it's, it's, I really like it. Although this is not the final design yet, um, I still have other ideas like adding graphs. I'm thinking of monitoring my uh, thermostat temperature. I'm figuring out, figuring out how to actually um, add that device so that it can be controlled by this uh, Node.js app. And oh, by the way, um, this Node.js thing is running on is running on here on on this device. It's a bigger bone. Okay, this is what I use to uh, I use this device to connect to the home automation sprinkler that's in my basement, and it, it's it's like Raspberry Pi. Although this one, this, the Beagle Bone is better. It's got 64 GPIO pins, which is really neat versus Raspberry Pi's 8 pin. So I'll be able to um, control more devices. And eventually, I'll also be controlling this other device that I built. But this one is Arduino, uh, which is being controlled by being controlled by this one oops can't see it so I also built it from scratch and still still not done but it's working anyways um, I'm done with that so all right, we're going out to the backyard and we'll test the sprinklers. Okay, guys, catch you later. All right, guys, we're here outside. And I'm sorry about the weeds that you see, actually, because I killed the lawn this year with, with Roundup. And I really didn't like the the grass that I had before. It was the one that was put by the builder. And right now, the seeds that I that I drop or spread are elite Kentucky bluegrass seeds. And you can actually um, take a look at uh, my other Kentucky bluegrass video. Uh, we're in. I renovated my front yard and it's just amazing so 
once I kill the the weeds, uh, especially next year, it's everything's just gonna get covered by the Kentucky bluegrass um, seeds. I mean the grass. Oops. So yeah, um, right now Sprinter 2 is running, but we have to override the scheduler, so I'll have to turn it off. Oops. Okay, we've, we've actually override, so let's see if I'll be able to turn that off. So we'll see. There you go, sweet. So bright right now, I can't see the... I'm not sure, maybe... I can't see well. I think it does, maybe it's just too bright and my eyes can't adjust well. Anyways, let's try turning on Sprinkler 2 again. Okay. Awesome. Now let's turn on Sprinkler 3, which is right there. Okay, let's turn on Sprinkler 3. Oh, can't see. It's right there. Hope you can see it. Perfect. Now we have another one here. Oh, shh. That's painful. Which is Sprinkler 4. Let's try on Sprinkler 4. There you go. Can you see it? So all three sprinklers are running. I've got one on the other side. And Unfortunately, I still cannot walk on the seedlings because they're just like 28 years old. I mean, 28 month, 28 days old. And I've got another one here, which is Sprinkler Five. Okay. All right. And guess what? This is even voice activated okay I'm gonna get wet hold on okay I'm good now almost got wet there so let's turn yeah let's turn off um, number five here turn off valve five sweet perfect He's cooperating well today. Haha. <laughs> Cooper cooperating well. Now let's turn off that number four sprinkler head. Turn off valve four. You see it? Nice. Now let's turn off number three. Okay. Or let's do number two here. Okay. Turn off valve two. That is neat. And then let's turn off number three. S sprinkler head on zone three. Let's do that. Turn off valve three. Turn off valve three. Sweet. Let's try again. Turn on valve three. Turn on valve three. Okay, that turned on well. Let's turn on number two. Turn on valve two. Turn on valve two. Awesome. Nice. Oops, I got wet. So I hope you enjoyed the the Angular 
JS, no JS, Beagle Bone, Torture Test. And again, don't worry about the weeds. Um, they are very easy to kill. I'll use the triangle approach to kill it. And I, I, I've been, I've done this before. Oh, before I forget, um, that's the one that's being controlled by by elk system, which is being controlled by the Beagle Bone Node.js, the Node.js app on the Beagle Bone. So I've got five valves for the five zone. Alrighty, awesome, sweet. Thanks for watching. Catch you later, guys.